Next month is actually the crunch meeting, yeah. at which point the UK will or will not be able to move on to the next phase. Will the UK have done enough by then? Well, I think they need to move from their current position, uh, if I'm honest. I mean, I speak as a, as a friend of the UK. I've you know, spent much of my life in Britain. Uh, I was in university there, but you know, I believe that Britain is making uh, a huge mistake at the moment uh, in terms of their current approach to, to the Brexit negotiations. Uh, I don't believe uh, it's realistic uh, to expect that Britain will be able to negotiate its, uh, its own free trade arrangements all over the world and expect barrier-free access into the European market. I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, and so I have been, I think, pretty blunt in terms of what I uh, would like to see uh, the British government doing, which is to uh, express the view that it wants to stay close to the customs union and the single market from a trade perspective, even if it's going to move away from the European Union from a political perspective. And by the way, that is, I think, what most European countries would like to see Britain do now. How do you see it all panning out, though? Because the EU has said that if there's any kind of, you know, customs or borders, you know, agreement, then there must be a border with the Republic of Ireland. But you say there's going to be no border, no hard border. Well, I mean, look, if there's a border on the island of Ireland, that will be a, a huge failing uh, of politics. Uh, we have spent 30 years trying to make a peace process on the island of Ireland stick. And, and that has been successful, but it's been a painful journey. And one of the benefits of that has been the removal, effectively, of a border on the island of Ireland. It's invisible. When you cross it, when you drive from Dublin to Belfast, you don't know you're crossing it. And part of the benefit of that is free and open trade and movement of goods, of services, of livestock, and so on. So we have made it very clear, and the British government has also made it clear, that at the end of these negotiations, they want to ensure that we effectively maintain an invisible border on the island of Ireland, which is good for lots of reasons. But I think the current approach that the British government is taking uh, makes that very, very difficult to achieve. Uh, and that's why I and many other people are encouraging the British government to try to evolve their position to one uh, that effectively creates a new customs union uh, that the European Union and Britain would be part of, which would prevent the need for any infrastructure on that border. And the position paper that the UK came out with does call for a new customs partnership, so yes. we'll have to see what that means. What would be a fair divorce bill, so-called? Well, I mean, just, uh, you know, in Britain they, they call this an exit bill. Uh, the rest of Europe calls it basically Britain following through on, on the commitments that it made to the EU budget a number of years ago. So the European Union runs on what's called a multi-annual financial framework, which is a budget over a number of years up until 2020. Britain has made a commitment to contribute to that budget up until 2020. And the European side is simply saying, look, follow through on that commitment. Uh, because if you don't, then there's going to be holes I in terms of uh, many of the services uh, and the research programs and so on that right, the European well, like, Union I, I, I has committed to we're, fund. We're out of time, unfortunately, but a yes or no answer. Should the UK pay for a transition period? Well, first of all, we have to have a transition period, uh, and that needs to be agreed. And from an Irish perspective, we want a long transition period, and we want to ma a maintenance of the status quo through that transition period, so businesses don't need to change twice, once for a transition period and once for a more permanent arrangement.